Guys, girls, please stay with me for a moment, it's important. I will talk about the show where we find the finest of the finest gays girls in the show this season, so let me begin talking about it. So, because the voice acting industry is becoming increasingly more relevant and popular in the recent years, especially with the searching content like anime, games and movies, as the demand for voice actors has skyrocketed, so has the interest in the talented people behind the voices. One fascinating example of this is the many sides of the voice actor radio, a show that delves into the behind the scenes lives of the voice actors. This one will follow the story of two fellow female voice actors who initially had no idea that they were in the same industry. Heck, only when they had to host the new weekly radio program did they find out that not only do they go into the same school, they are even in the same class. What a twist, right? <laughs> Well, their personalities are quite different from each other. Yuguru Yuhi is more of an indoor type who does not like to stand out, as for Utetani Yatsumi it's quite an opposite and outgoing one who likes to dress up as a girl outside of work. So the moment the boiling oil and water meets, there comes the sparks. Of course on the radio show they remember to perform their roles as professionals being besties on air and being like geese and ducks off air. The show presents itself as comedy, but if I'm being honest, the comedy elements ain't really that strong inside. It's more of a slice of life show with a lot of sus elements from the gay girls in it variety. I mean, I get it, as a fellow introvert that Yuhi wants to be friends with Yatsumi and that doing the off-air stuff which they talked about on the radio show so that they won't be seen as fake is a sound argument to spend more time with each other. That on itself creates wholesome and funny moments with her voice acting co-host. From the little details in the auditions, like the example of people who have more lines sitting in the middle of the bench, to the depictions of the recording booths, staffs and backgrounds and so on, a lot of the details were spot on. Of course, whenever you are working with people, you as a person are not gonna be always right and that will spark some conflicts or conversations. One of the funny ones was that Yuhi did not know that you can buy crockets at the butcher shop, which made her look like a fool for a bit. But that lead to a scene where she and Yatsumi ended up going to a locker butcher shop for some crockets to eat for themselves. And that is just one of the lessons that you get in life that not everything has to always make sense. But all of that is only what we see in the light, cause where there is light you can always find darkness, seeing how even the smallest of the interactions on the outside can have a big media impact without the correct context, making the whole shitstorm unfold. Similar to what we've seen in Oshinoko in the first or the sixth episode. To some of the obsessed people who are connecting the dots from the social sites, like comparing images, finding where their idols were, to literal stalking, slowly it can build up to the extremes. And one of such things happened to Yuhi, who got herself into a scandal. For the people watching the episode, if they connect the dots properly, then they will know that it's all just a big misunderstanding. But for the paparazzi, everything can be seen as a scoop, especially quote unquote scandals like the one Yuhi got into. And to blow out things out of proportions for publicity is what they love to do. So what exactly happened? And how will Yasumi react to all of the allegations? Well, you gotta watch it to find out more. Thanks for staying till the end. Don't be nasty to the people on the internet. Stay healthy, press like and subscribe for the algorithm gods and we're gonna see us in the next video. Goodbye!